Islamic University of Technology IUT Arabic Aljamta Laslamite Click Knight French University Islamic de Technology Bengali Islamica University Aber Technology is an international university in Bangladesh It is one of the leading and prestigious engineering research institutions in Bangladesh IUT is a subsidiary organ of Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC so, the university is directly run and funded by OIC. IUT offers degrees in engineering disciplines in undergraduate and postgraduate levels. The main objective of IUT is to contribute to developing the human resources of the member states of the OIC in the fields of engineering, technology and technical education. IUT receives the direct endowment from OIC member countries and offers scholarships to its students in the form of free tuition, boarding, lodging and Medicare. The aesthetic campus was designed by Turkish architect Pamir Mehmet, an MIT graduate. Accreditation <coughs> 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 International Association of Universities IAU Federation of the Universities of the Islamic World FUIW Association of the Universities of Asia and the Pacific AUAP Institution of Engineers Bangladesh IEB Topic Location and Climate IUT is at Board Bazaar, Ghazipur, about 30 kilometers (19 miles) north of Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. Topic: History. Islamic University of Technology, established in 1978, was first known as Islamic Center for Technical, Vocational Training and Research (ICTVTR). It was proposed in the 9th Islamic Conference of Foreign Ministers ICFM held in Dhaka, Republic of Senegal on 24–28 April 1978. The establishment of IUT in Dhaka, Bangladesh was then approved by the foreign ministers. All the members of the Organization of the Islamic Conference OIC agreed to cooperate for the implementation of the project. The implementation of the infrastructure commenced with the holding of the first meeting of the Board of Governors in June 1979. Foundation stone of ICTVTR was laid by President Zia Rahman of the People's Republic of Bangladesh on 27 March 1981 in the presence of Yazir Arafat, the then Chairman of the PLO, and Habib Chatti, the then Secretary General of OIC. ICTVTR was formally inaugurated by Hussein Muhammad Ershad, the President of Bangladesh on 14 July 1988. The 22nd ICFM held in Casablanca, Morocco on 10–11 December 1994 renamed the ICTVTR as Islamic Institute of Technology IIT. IIT was formally inaugurated by Begum Khaleda Zia the then Prime Minister of Bangladesh on 21 September 1995. The 28th ICFM held in Bamako, Republic of Mali on 25–29 June 2001 commended the efforts of IIT and decided to rename the IIT as Islamic University of Technology IUT. IUT was formally inaugurated by Begum Khaleda Zia, Prime Minister of Bangladesh on 29 November 2001. The university started offering long regular courses from December 1986 and completed 31 academic years till 2017. The 31st convocation was held at the IUT Auditorium on of November 2017. Mahmoud Ali, Foreign Minister of Bangladesh was the chief guest on the occasion. Organization Administrative structure Joint General Assembly 
the Islamic Commission for Economic, Cultural and Social Affairs consisting of all member states of the OIC acts as the Joint General Assembly of the subsidiary organs including IUT. This assembly acts as the General Assembly of the University. It determines the general policy and provides general guidance. It examines the activities of the university and submits recommendations to the ICFM. Internal rules and regulations which govern the internal activities are shaped through the decisions of this assembly. It elects the members of the governing body and examines the whole budget for a year. The finance control organ of the university audits the financial possessions of the university and submits it to this assembly. Then it is submitted to the ICFM from here. Governing Board It is composed of nine members including a member from the host country who are selected by the Joint General Assembly. Members are selected as per geographical distribution and importance of the countries and people. The Secretary General of OIC or his representative and the Vice-Chancellor of the University become members of this board by their status. They are included as ex officio members. This board focuses on the precision activities and programs of IUT and sends recommendations to the Joint General Assembly. This is the body that consults about the promoting measures of IUT with General Secretariat and it approves the final curricula of training and research programs. One of its prime jobs is to grant degrees, diplomas and certificates according to academic regulations. Executive Committee this is an organ of the governing board and is empowered to deal, between meetings of the board, with any matter that may be referred to it by the vice-chancellor or that may be delegated by the board. All interim actions of this committee are reported to the governing board. The executive committee of the board consists of the Secretary of Ministry of Labour and Employment of Bangladesh as the chairman, heads of the diplomatic missions of the member states of OIC in Bangladesh to be nominated by the governing board and the vice-chancellor of IUT as a general member. Academic Council Subject to other provisions this council advises the governing board on all academic matters. It makes the proper conduct of teaching, training and examinations and distributes the awards of fellowship, scholarship, medals and prizes. Some statutory committees are formed to ensure management of programs and activities in the relevant and related fields. These committees include the Administrative Advisory Committee, Departmental Committee, Disciplinary Committee, Finance Committee, Planning and Development Committee, Research Committee, Selection Committee, Students' Welfare Committee, Syllabus Committee, etc. <laughs> List of Vice-Chancellors M. Anwar Hussain M. D. Fazli Allahi, the 6th of January 2003. Munaz Ahmed Noor, the 1st of April 2016 to the 5th of February 2018. http slash article slash 34176 slash vc resigns Drive. Omar Jar acting VC, the 5th of February 2018 present. Topic. Admission Undergraduate The admission system of Islamic University of Technology is different from other universities of Bangladesh for BSc and higher diploma programs. In Bangladesh, all public universities conduct enrollment examinations to select the students. Students can come from any ethnic group and religion. IUT authority only selects Muslim students as per their results in secondary and higher secondary level. A placement test determines the position of the students against their choice which they had given on the admission form. Prospective Muslim students need to fill a form and submit it to the Ministry of Manpower and Employment of their respective countries. The form can be collected from IUT office or the respective ministry. It is also available in the university website. IUT was established to support only Muslim students of all the countries of OIC. It takes students from the respective governments, and a majority of the students are Bangladeshi Muslims. 
Previously, only male Muslim students were eligible to apply but from the year 2016, IUT started a female section as well. Postgraduate IUT provides master's courses. Students need to take separate tests to be admitted in the master's courses. Research facilities are available here. Academics IUT contacts academic instructions completely in English. English, Arabic and French are the official languages of the university for all academic and admission purposes. Undergraduate education Postgraduate education Research and related sponsors Topic departments Department of Mechanical and Chemical Engineering MCE, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering EEE, Department of Computer Science and Engineering CSE, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering C, Department of Technical and Vocational Education TVE, Department of Business Technology Management BTM. Topic. Research Center Department of Research, Extension and Advisory Services and Publication REASP. Energy and Environment Center EEC. Topic. EEC. General Information Energy and Environment Center was established on 7 June 1998 with the objective of developing human resources in the field of energy and environment particularly for the member countries of the OIC, with special emphasis of the interrelationship between the areas. Issues related to technology, society, policy and above all sustainability are needed to enhance energy consciousness and environmental responsibility. The objectives of the center are to continuously assess the training needs, prepare appropriate training and course materials, arrange short courses, workshops and seminars in cooperation with other OIC organs and bodies as well as relevant national, regional and international organizations, and develop facilities of international standard to meet the growing demands of the OIC countries in the field of energy and environment. With this aim, energy-related subjects are being offered in different semesters in the undergraduate courses of the Mechanical Engineering Department for specialization in the energy field. The center promotes energy and environment-related research in cooperation with other departments. Several master's theses on renewable energy have been completed in the Mechanical and Chemical Engineering Department. A PhD research on value addition of activated carbon from rice husk", is going on in the MCE department. Facilities, laboratories For conducting the courses satisfactorily, the following laboratories and workshops are available. Topic Department of Mechanical and Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics Internal Combustion Engines Heat Transfer Fluid Mechanics and Machinery Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Metro Logi Automotive Workshop Machine Shop with NC and CNC Machine Tools Fitting Fabrication and Welding Foundry Computer Aided Design Lab Applied Mechanics and Materials Mechanical Control and Instrumentation Drawing and Design Lab Energy Technology Chemistry Physics Chemical Reaction Engineering Chemical Process Calculation Chemical Technology Topic. Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Electrical Engineering Laboratory Electrical Circuits Electrical Machines Power Systems Electrical Utilization Electrical Workshop Switchgear Electronic Engineering Laboratory Electronics Electronic Workshop Digital Electronics Industrial Electronics Radio and Television Engineering Microwave and Telecommunication VLSI Circuits Measurements and Instrumentation Control, Microprocessor and Microcontroller Systems 
Physics Topic: Department of Computer Science and Engineering Software Engineering Laboratory Network Laboratory Multimedia Laboratory Hardware Laboratory Sun Solaris Lab Topic: Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering Structural Engineering Laboratory Construction Materials Laboratory Geotechnical Engineering Laboratory Transportation Engineering Laboratory Environmental Engineering Laboratory Hydraulics Laboratory Topic Department of Technical and Vocational Education TVE Language Audiovisual Photographic film processing Topic Engineering and Technology Programs Postgraduate courses Master of Science in Civil Engineering Master of Science in Computer Science and Engineering Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering Master of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering Master of Mechanical Engineering Master of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Master of Science in Computer Science and Applications Postgraduate Diploma in Mechanical Engineering Postgraduate Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Science and Engineering Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Science and Applications Four-Year Bachelor of Science Computer Science and Engineering BSc. CSE Software Engineering BSc. SWE Electrical and Electronic Engineering BSc. Eng. EEE. Mechanical and Chemical Engineering BSc. Eng. MCE. Civil and Environmental Engineering BSc. Eng. C. Four-year Bachelor of Business Administration in Technology Management BBA Trademark Higher Diploma in Computer Science and Engineering HDCSE. Electrical and Electronic Engineering HDEE Mechanical Engineering HDME Civil Engineering HDCE Topic Computer Center There is a computer center in the first floor of the academic building It maintains email accounts for every student and faculty member of IUT it is equipped with the following facilities X-based IBM RISC 6000 server Noval Netware 5.1 based server Windows 7 and Windows XP based server Linux based mail server SCO Unix based Zenith server 140 microcomputers IBM and IBM PC capabilities VSAT Campus wide optical fiber network backbone 20 megabytes per second downlink speed and 512 kilobytes per second uplink speed using the optical fiber connection a campus wide network with Noval Netware 5.1 and Unixware 2 has been installed connecting computers in the center and other computers in departments library and offices internet facilities are available for the students staffs and teachers Topic. Library and Documentation Center The students spend a lot of time at IUT Library and Documentation Center. It is on the first floor of the library, cafeteria building overlooking a lake on the eastern and western sides. The library has a floor area of 1,300 square meters with a shelf space of 52,000 books. 
it is divided into two sections, general and research, reference. To conduct the IUT library service, a customized software was developed and installed. The CSE Computer Science and Engineering Department developed a new software for library management which is accessible through computers and cell phones. The data of projects, thesis, dissertations have been incorporated in the software. Now the faculty members and the students may search their desired books, dissertation from OPAC online public access catalog. Local Area Network LAN in the IUT campus. There are 26,200 books on engineering, technical and vocational subjects. Twenty technical journals are being subscribed from abroad annually. It is an open-shelf library. Books are issued to the students and staff for home use. It is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. on all working days and on one weekend 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. To conduct the IUT library service, a customized software has been developed and installed in the IUT library. The data of projects, theses and dissertations have been incorporated in the BookTracks software. The library is in a process to computerize its other information resources. Now the members of the IUT working in the campus have the access to library database through a LAN. The circulation system has been computerized and consumers can borrow through an automated barcode system. It has a photocopy section. Since all the students live on campus the library is the only place where they can use their time by reading books and taking notes up to 08.00 pm every day. Financial aid Depending on the availability of resources and contributions from the member states of the OIC, during the academic session all the regular students of IUT will be provided with continental breakfast, lunch, evening tea and dinner in the self-service cafeteria free of charge, but within TARCA equivalent of $50 per student per month. They can, however, buy snacks and more food using their own resources. The university also bears the cost of on-campus shared furnished accommodation one room to be shared by four students. The university disburses a monthly allowance of TARCA equivalent of $45 to each regular student of instructor training, postgraduate programs in engineering and technology, BSc engineering, BSc computer science and engineering and higher diploma in engineering and technology as pocket allowance to cover the costs of stationery, laundry, local transport etc. In addition to the above facilities, subject to the availability of funds, each regular student is now exempted from paying the fees for tuition, normal Medicare and games and sports. In case of non-availability of mandatory contributions from member countries, the university will not be able to provide above facilities free of charge. The round-trip air passage and other incidental expenses of the students are required to be borne by the nominating authority or by the candidates. In addition, the students who want to visit their countries during the vacation have to bear all expenses for the trip including air passage either by themselves or by their nominating authorities. The students are strongly advised to bring return air tickets with them, as they must leave the Hall of Residence within two weeks after finishing the course. Campus Academic buildings There are two five-storied academic buildings being with fully functional lift facilities enabled used for academic purposes and practical works. Halls of residence Each student of IUT gets a seat allotted to him in the halls of residence. Separate dorms known as hall accommodation is available inside the IUT campus. Though it is not really mandatory to reside in the campus, most of the students do so. A total of 240 rooms are provided in two halls of residence North Hall and South Hall with three blocks each, East Block, Middle Block and West Block. Each room has provision for accommodating a maximum of three to four students. 
Each student is provided with basic living ingredients from the authority without any cost. It is compulsory for IUT students to reside in campus which helps regular and attentive devotion to studies. Modern and comfortable hall accommodation is available inside the IUT campus. A total of 240 rooms are spread in three blocks. East block, middle block, and west block of each of the two halls of residence. Each room is provided with bed, mattress, pillow, quilt, reading table, bookshelf and cupboard. Bed linen is provided with laundry facilities. After the construction of the second hall of residence with a loan from Islamic Development Bank the total residential capacity has been raised. Civic amenities IUT has two self-service cafeterias Central and North where the students are required to take normal meals and breakfast. This university provides the students with continental breakfast, lunch, evening tea and dinner within about $50 per month per student. The students are now being exempted from paying this cost. However, they may be required to pay the cost partly, if not in full, to account for any shortage in the contribution by the member states. The cafeteria is managed by the cafeteria committee represented by staff as well as students. The Students' Center of IUT is in front of the South Hall and is visible from the main gate. Recreational arrangements are available there. The Students' Center is arranged by a TV room, an indoor basketball ground, table tennis court and carom board. Daily newspapers are supplied on a regular basis. Arrangements for games and sports are usually in accordance to the preferences of the students of the member countries of OIC. This includes football, cricket, volleyball, basketball, tennis, table tennis, and carom. Topic. Mosque As an Islamic university, there is a mosque right at the heart of the campus. It has a separate site for ablution. The mosque is two-storied and is well decorated and maintained. Prayer are always held on time. During the Jummah prayer, the mosque is open to all, and people from outside can enter the campus so say their prayers. Auditorium IUT has a fully air-conditioned multi-purpose auditorium on its campus. It is provided with a stage and film projection facilities. The interior is beautiful decorated, there are seating arrangements for about 600 people. The degree, diploma awarding convocation ceremony, seminars, cultural functions and examinations are held in the auditorium. It is also provided with a green room, special guest room, conference room and balconies two of which form the banks of the adjacent water pool. The auditorium is capable for arranging seats for all the students and faculty members of IUT. All the exams held here in two shifts. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student activities. Student societies in IUT includes IUTCS, IUT Computer Society, IUTDS, IUT Debating Society, IUTSIKS, IUT Society of Islamic Knowledge Seekers, IUTPS, IUT Photographic Society, IUTCBS, IUT Career and Business Society. IEEE student branch of IUTL of these are extremely active, with regular activities, like workshops, seminars, etc. and maintain a good relation with other student bodies from other institutions in the country. Students participate in co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Most prominent of these are outdoor games and cultural fests. The student body is rich in the field of music and have released a number of audio tracks. Every year four fests are held within the university by the four departments. Each departmental fest is organized by the students and faculty of the respective department. Student of different universities and colleges participate in the competitions of the fests. 
Competitions are mainly based on engineering, technology, general knowledge and business. On the day of the fest the gates are open to all to visit and have a good time in the university premises. The names of the fest and their organizers ESONANCE, EEE Department ICT Fest, CSE Department MECCELERATION, MCE Department CENNOVATION, C Department Other than educational, co curricular, and extracurricular activities, there are also different sports events, intra university games, and recreation. Students go to study tours, picnics, etc. The university provides all the necessary materials for games and sports. Asia Link project A framework approach to strengthening Asian higher education in advanced design and manufacture. Seven academic institutions across six European and Asian countries are working in partnership for three years to strengthen Asian higher education in advanced design and manufacture, University of Strathclyde, Troyes University of Technology, University of Malta, Huajong University of Science and Technology, Northwestern Polytechnic University, Ghulam Ishak Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology, Islamic University of Technology. The specific objective is to develop a framework solution to engineering higher education demands in Asia, by developing a new curriculum in advanced engineering design and manufacture for Asian and European MSc education, upgrading the skills of university teaching staff in Bangladesh, Pakistan and China, split training Asian PhD students in European institutions, comparing educational policies, systems, programs among countries, and enhancing the overall management of Asian universities. In Europe, the higher education in engineering design and manufacture has been well advanced, but in most regions of Asia, it is not. The project aims to develop a framework to strengthen postgraduate education in advanced design and manufacture in the least developed and developing Asian countries. The target groups are teaching staff, postgraduate students and engineers in Bangladesh, China and Pakistan. It will develop an innovative multidisciplinary MSc course entitled, Advanced Design and Manufacture, split train Asian PhD students, train postgraduate students, teaching staff, engineers, and practitioners, compare the education system of partner institutions, and organize a conference to exchange experience from different AsiaLink projects. The partnership consists of seven leading universities from three Asian and three European countries. The project is for 36 months. Topic: 10-year plan roadmap. The roadmap OIC 10Y POA Room 2006 Final Section 2 Development of socio-economic and scientific issues V Higher Education Science and Technology points out at the need of closing the digital gap Section 5 Ensure effective and active coordination between OIC member states Section 1 Initiate specific projects in the fields of information technology manufacturing engineering Section 7 and also calls for exchange of knowledge among the academic institutions section 1 of member states keeping the above directives in mind islamic university of technology iut in addition to its existing long regular programs initiated some steps including designing short courses training programs plans of cooperation in the field of science and technology among the member states and so on more specifically to enhance the knowledge in the field of information technology and reduce the digital gap it has designed a short course on computer network server administration in Linux environment for 12 to 16 November 2006 all the interested institutions and participants of the OIC countries are welcome to join the program the details are available in the brochure being circulated to the member states and are on the website
For upgrading the curriculum in the field of advanced manufacturing and design, IUT has joined hands with the universities of UK, France, China, Malta and Pakistan under the umbrella of Asia Link programme, initiated by the European Union and under their patronage. Initial work on the project has already started. In addition to the above, the other programs related to medical electronics for health care, training the trainers in the technical education field, design of jigs, fixture for computer integrated manufacturing have been finalized and the announcements will be sent to all the contact points of the member states. Additional plans involving I staff development for the proposed Al-Aqsa University II pedagogical training for religious teachers at the secondary level, III helping and advising SME sectors in OIC countries IV cooperation among OIC countries in the field of science and technology and v women education, the details of which have been prepared, submitted by IUT may be taken up for discussions at the appropriate forums and decisions may be taken regarding implementation. Topic. See also Higher education in Bangladesh List of universities in Bangladesh Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology Military Institute of Science and Technology MIST. Committee on Scientific and Technological Cooperation, COMSTECH <laughs>